Hello there, my Capricorn Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. What's up with you, Capricorn? Mm, let's get the general energy for you. Capricorn, what's up? Oh, Eight of Wands. What do you got going on? That feels like Greece is the word. What was that, 1978? Mm -hmm. Rush of emotions, overflowing emotions. What's the vibe on this Capricorn? Knight of Pentacles with the Two of Wands. Five of Wands, the world, the star, and there's the Three of Cups. Basis of this, the Page of Wands, Scorpio vibes, Three of Wands. Ooh, to the Queen of Pentacles, okay. Oh, fuck. Capricorn, don't be surprised as someone you've dealt with in the past who was very stingy, one-minded, don't want to try to come back in with another offer. But I don't think you're going to be interested in this, especially since you have other offers that uh, you can look at. Ooh, look at this. Baby mama, baby daddy drama when it comes to this. Same old, same old. You can move through this energy or not. Watch your favorite astrologer. This could definitely be astrological with you. Mercury, Pluto right there. Hmm. Oh, Cappies. This is someone that really isn't going to be much of a good sort of relationship or partnership because they are very stingy. They are very stingy. It's a fertile energy when it comes to you, so definitely make sure that you're uh, minding your family plan on now, Capricorn. This is someone that just wants to bring in conflict and strife as well. They don't have much to offer, so they create more of a stir. So this is someone whose relationships or partnerships always fail. This is probably someone you've dealt with, and they went somewhere else. And uh, that situation has fallen apart. So now they're, it's a comeback around energy. Work, love, life when it comes to you, Capricorn. So you probably dealt with this person more than once. So Capricorn, if you tend to go back to the same... You need to break this karmic cycle. This is your choice to do this as well. You choose your partners, you choose your relationships. This could be a Scorpio energy, or this is a person who's always sort of fake as fuck. It's not a dramatic energy, Capricorn, unless you allow that sort of drama to come in. If you're casually dating, those of you Capricorn, somehow make sure you're mindful of your online presence, what you're posting, anything like that. You definitely got some crosswatcher vibes. Emperor there at the Page of Cups. Yeah, there's that sort of Will of Fortune energy. Queen of Swords. Nine of Pentacles. Four of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Five of Swords to the Seven of Swords. Oh, look at this shit. Seven of Swords to the Seven of Pentacles. Work, love, life when it comes to you. Uh, Capricorn, those of you, if you can't compartmentalize your life, uh, definitely be mindful of that. Your workplace friendships, partnerships, those of you when it comes to romantic type vibes. Emperor energy there. Capricorn, don't fuck below your pay scale. This has been messy before, so whatever this energy is, you know. Definitely could be baby mama, baby daddy drama with that queen of pentacles. Mm. Cappies, make sure you're compartmentalizing. 
Four of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Five, Six, Seven of Swords. So, damn. Don't fuck below your pay scale. Do not fuck below your pay scale, Capricorns. If this isn't romantic with you, this is someone that you've worked with before. So this could be a boss. Or this could be someone that uh, uh, you've had business dealings with. And now they want to come back in. Oh, with this Ten of Cups. This could be a friendship. This could be family. Uh, whatever the hell this energy is. Baby mama, baby daddy drama. Oh. Damn cappies. So, you've been here, done this before. It's the come back around energy. Uh, you got plenty more offers. You got plenty more opportunities. You're dealing with someone that takes far more than they give. You'll know this energy. You'll know this energy. This person could be newly single or just out of a, a sort of relationship or partnership or out of a job, moving into another job, career-minded here. Oh, those of you Capricorns, don't be so messy. Compartmentalize your life. Because there's no love here. King of Cups sideways. So damn. Bottom of the deck, Five of Pentacles. There's the Ace of Cups. There's the Ace of Wands. There's the Two of Cups. There's the Six of Wands. There's the Two of Swords. That Ace of Cups is feeling like the Trevi Fountain. So uh, those of you that are achieving your goals, those of you that are accomplishing sort of wish fulfillment type uh, energies... Yeah, it's it's sort of that kind. Damn, this is like a working vibe. This is like a working vibe. Look at you go. You're in good energy here, Capricorn. But damn. Damn, Capricorn. Be mindful of who or what you invest in right now. Be mindful of who you bring on. Be mindful of who you bring into your energy. Especially if you're creating new opportunities for yourself. You got the four, five, seven, eight, nine of pentacles. This could be a working relationship or partnership, a friendship. Be mindful if you're traveling as well. That's the Libra energy. So you've been here, done that. So moving forward, damn. What's over this Two of Swords for Capricorn? You got success coming your way. You got good opportunities. But some of you do be mindful of the sort of... Uh, uh, this is definitely comeback around energy. This is comeback around energy. So, damn. They were a partner of some sort. It's a fertile energy, too. So, definitely be mindful of booty calls. Uh, Capricorn, don't, uh, allow yourself to get so inebriated that you let the, the vibe take you where you shouldn't. You've been here, done this before, Capricorn, so it's a karmic cycle, so you know you. It's not the same energy, it's the same sort of vibe. Don't be messy. Capricorns, don't be messy. This ain't romantic. This could be a work opportunity. 
It's someone that you've had close connections with. Baby mama, baby daddy drama. This could be a boss, former partner, ex-partner. This person doesn't bring much. They might be wanting to come in and, oh, let's work together again. Or I got this great idea. Uh-uh. Fuck the sentimentality when it comes to something. Especially if you kind of know the vibe. So, this is like, uh, you know better, so, mm, this is an energy that you know. Keep your ideas to yourself right now, too, Capricorn. Because you don't, you don't need this energy. You can meet this person at a party or a bar. They always show up at, uh, this would be like a party situation. So this is like work. There is nothing coincidental when it comes to this uh, Capricorn. So damn. Conventions. Those of you that do conventions. Some of you need to ride this energy out. You just need to stay focused on you. Fuck the sentimentality right now. Fuck the sentimentality right now. This would be an opportunistic uh, type vibe as well. So this is someone that takes advantage of every situation that they're in. Work, love, life vibes. Don't be messy. Don't be messy, Capricorn. Be mindful of your passionate connections as well. Judgment energy. The hanging one energy. The five of cups. Temperance angel. Ooh, and there's the Aquarius vibe. Uh, some of you, this could be a manager. This could, It's someone that you've dealt with before. They went off and did their own thing, and now they're going to want to come back in. Some of them could want to invest uh, in you, with you. I don't know. You've been there, done that before. This is a person that definitely has takes more than what they offer or takes more than what they bring to the situation. Be mindful of your creative creative ideas as well now, uh, Capricorn. Some of y'all sit your ass down when it comes to this. So whatever this is, you've been here, done this before. Whoever this person is, you've dealt with them before. Or you're going to recognize the energy signature. There's nothing new when it comes to this. You're looking good, which is why this person shows up. So you know that they go to whoever gives them the best sort of opportunity. So Seven of Swords, this person has stabbed you in the back before. There's no surprise when it comes to this energy. But you got some interesting choices to make. You really don't have any interesting choices to make. Those of you that's off that karmic wheel of fortune cycle... Uh, where you focus on yourself. This is the one that always comes back in. Mm. Work, love, life vibes on this. Those of you messy Capricorns that can't compartmentalize your life, be mindful of that too. Don't fuck below your pay scale. Definitely be mindful of your family planning. This is an energy that's always the same though. There's nothing new or different about them. They move around a lot. They get around a lot. So whoever's got the best sort of uh, offer, that's where they're going to be at. Yeah. Some of you choosing to stay single. Some of y'all listen to the Gemini. Look at you go, Cappies. You are good. This is what brings about this energy. So whenever that opportunity shows up, so do the opportunist. Bigger pond, bigger fish. Mm. Take what's yours, Capricorn. Leave what's not. Six of cups to the Capricorn. 
There you go, Capricorn. So, you've been there, done this before. This definitely feels more business-related. So, this is someone you've had a, a working relationship or partnership at one point in time. They didn't bring much to the equation, but they definitely take far more when they leave. So, it's fertile energy. Don't be messy, Caps. Don't be messy, Capricorn. Maybe uh, focus on being more chaste right now than uh, <laughs> chasing every opportunity. Your best bet is to just walk on by, keep on going. Fuck the sentimentality when it comes to this, too. Fuck the sentimentality on this. Happily single. Some of you need to be doing your own thing as well. So do be mindful of your creative ideas. Be mindful of who you're sharing your goals and dreams with as well. Ooh, cappies. Good luck. God bless. Like, share, subscribe. Where's your voice of reason at? You do need a voice of reason. Queen of Swords right here. The, the lovers there with the sun card. Listen to your Gemini. Wow. Ooh. This is karmic written all over it. So, damn. Be mindful of that energy. They're an X for a reason. They're not in your life for a reason. X, X, uh, lover, X friend ex business partner mm. good luck god bless like share subscribe you're in good energy that's what makes the difference six of swords there with the six of wands move through it move through it be mindful of this is like a party situation that you don't get so uh, that you don't lose uh, control of your faculties. So you're not making like stupid decisions. Because this has stupid decision making written all over it. And this is someone that knows your vibe. So they can tug on them heartstrings. Mm. Fuck the sentimentality. Look at that. Six of swords, six of cups with the six of wands. Mm. Peace, love, and light, Capricorn. You're looking good, so stay in that vibe. 